I'm Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I have a lot of goodies to show you tonight. I still have tons of stuff from the trips I took with Shirley. She would come down once a week and we would spend the entire day thrifting. Unfortunately, she's gone back to Oregon, but I haven't thrifted since she's left. I've got many, many uh, videos ahead. Hope you enjoy this one. Yesterday I did go out with that Shirley cameraman and I took a, a bit of a ride around did a little thrifting and we found this at the wooden nickel store and I just fell in love with it pictures were half price it was marked $15 so it was half of that and it's I guess acrylic I'm not really sure I know I got some people out there that are artists uh, maybe you can tell me what this is I really I'm not sure but cameraman had a really good idea for our new room we're redoing this room here and he thought it might great make a great tabletop so I think that's what we're gonna do and it does have the original tag on the back and the original tag says like two hundred and twelve dollars so I guess we got a good find for seven fifty as long as we're in the room that we're redoing I thought I would show you I moved all my vintage pictures in here they're all lined up on top They'll need a little more rearranging, but that's where they're gonna stay, I think, right up there. And I had said in one of my videos that I like to collect these glass hand-painted shades. I can't reach them. And we got a new ceiling fan, so I immediately switched them in there, and I think they look really pretty there. I got this at the Wood Nickel store. Um, it was half price, I paid $4 for it. And it's Fire King Ovenware, and that back stamp dates it to the 1950s and 60s, and it's in beautiful condition. It's called a Splash Proof Bowl, you can tell by the shape of it, and they're part of a nesting set, and they were painted by the Washington Company, they're hand painted, and I do have a few more pieces in this pattern, and I know originally I would always say they were the Gay Fad Company, but I did correct myself with that, and all the fruits that were painted on Fire King we're out of the uh, Pennsylvania Washington Company. And it's in great shape. And it will be great addition to my collection. I don't get down to the Salvation Army in Melbourne very often. But I did last week. And for $1.99, I picked up this beautiful 13-inch sandwich plate. That's what it's called. It's made by Indiana Glass Company. And they were produced between 1925 and 1985. So it's kind of hard to tell if this was made in the Depression era or one of the repros. I kind of think it was the older one because right here because of the lines here. You don't see them very often. I couldn't find it on replacements.com. They don't have any. And they sell, if you can find them on eBay, anywhere between $25 and $50. But I don't plan on selling it unless somebody wants to give me $50. This is a Bradford Exchange decorative plate. It's part of a series. This was a 1977 plate, part of the Bugs Bunny Hair Raising Adventures. What's up, Doc, is the name of this plate. It's in really great condition. They sell for about $15. You don't see very many out there. And I did pick this up at Down the Road Thrift. This beautiful piece is Westmoreland, and the pattern's called Princess Feather Clear, and it's Depression Wear 1925, and it's a sugar creamer tray, and it's in beautiful condition. It's sandwich glass. This is Falls Graph 1991 Winterberry, which I knew, but I had never seen a Milk for Santa mug, so I picked it up even though Christmas is kind of far away. It's in really great shape. Oh, it only says it on the one side. And they sell on eBay for about $10. I got this at the Goodwill. I just kind of thought it was cute. It was only a quarter, so I picked it up. It's in pretty good shape. It says Kraft Parmesan cheese, and we use a lot of Kraft Parmesan cheese here. But when I realized I could probably get about $7 for it, um, I think I will list it and we'll just keep using our Parmesan cheese right out of the craft container. This is a really pretty hand-painted ceramic basket made in Portugal and it's in wonderful condition and they sell on eBay for about $21 and they come in different 
floral patterns or all sorts of different patterns. It has a nice braided handle to it too also. This was produced by the Libby Company in 1953. The pattern is called Cavalcade. It's a frosted glass and it's a seven inch cooler tumbler and it's part of a set. It's a great shape. Found this gorgeous martini pitcher in a thrift store in Melbourne. You can see it says Culver right there, but I can always tell Culver. It's pretty simple to spot. This was produced in 1962 and the pattern is called Plum Crest. Rex Town and Country produced in 1964. I got this at Down the Road Thrift, which if you saw the video, it's Jerry and Bonnie's Veterans Store. And I was running around with it in the video looking kind of goofy. And I remembered that I had bought some of these casserole lids, figuring I'd either sell them or someday I'll get the right casserole to fit it. And guess what? I got the right casserole to fit it. I saw this at the Down the Road Thrift and I immediately fell in love with it. I love the colors. I love the pattern. I love everything about it. I turned it over just what I thought. It's a whole piece. It's ceramics, 1955. And it's a cornucopia vase. And the pattern is called Blossom Flight. And if you go to retail um, or replacements.com, they list for $119. If you try and sell it on eBay, you'll see they go for anywhere um, from 20 to 35, but I'm going to keep it. Love it. I love this piece and it just kind of made me laugh. God bless this lousy apartment. Um, we've probably all been there at one point in our lives and I think my daughter's right there now, so I might just send it to her if she wants it. I turned it over. It does have a made in Japan or a Japan sticker. So I know it's vintage mid fifties and I did see a bunch of them selling on eBay for about seven to $10. Pick this up at the Goodwill. It's in beautiful condition. I know people love to collect anything casino related. Yellow was the color of the day. So it was half price. I picked it up and I'll list it. I haven't really done a lot of research into what they sell for, but I'm thinking maybe up to $10. I'll let you know. Got these at Down the Road Thrift. I saw them and I ran right over to them. They are milk glass. They were made by Gemco for corning in the spice of life pattern, salt and pepper set. And it's hard to say what I paid for it because when I go into that store, I just start collecting everything I want, put it on the counter, and we come up with the price at the end. Pick this up at Down the Road Thrift Store. It's a ceramic teapot made in the Holy Land, made in Israel. And it caught my eye because when my middle daughter was in Israel, she brought me back a little bowl that's very similar um, in design to this. It does have a little chip I didn't notice, but that's okay because I'm going to keep it anyways. I was at the Goodwill at Rockledge and I had purchased one item and I was walking out the door and there on the counter right by the door, I spotted this um, Homer Lachlan bowl for 69 cents. So I got back in line with my other purchase and said, I already bought this, now I want to buy this. And I'm starting to collect, I'm starting to collect Fiesta Weir again. So I was really happy to find this. This is a lemongrass or chartreuse. Lemongrass is a new name for the chartreuse. This, I believe, is 1951 to 1969 by the back stamp. They're so hard to tell, um, but it is all in lower cases. And it doesn't say let free, it just says Homer Lachlan Company USA. So don't quote me on it, but my best guess to this piece is 1951 to 1969. And if I were to sell it, which I will not sell, I'll um, probably get about $15 for it. They did reproduce the lemongrass color again after the, um, in the, in the mid eighties. And it first came out, the chartreuse was one of the original colors, but it looked nothing like that. It was much lighter in color. I hope you enjoyed my haul and I wanted to thank everybody for their wonderful comments 
on Jerry and Bonnie's store down the road thrift. And I gave uh, myself a few hours on Friday to go down and help. I had no intentions of buying anything. Honestly, I didn't. Uh, but I walked in the door and Shauna and Mike were volunteering, veterans themselves. And I heard Shauna say, grab a bag and fill it for $10. So my eyes went wide open and I said, you mean clothes, right? And she said, anything. So my next video, you'll be amazed at what I can put in a bag for $10. We're going to go through the bag and see what I got. A lot of good stuff in there, and it's quite full. So thank you very much. Have a great day, and we'll see you real soon. Start again. No. An entire day's out. Thank you. Hi, Michelle here. <laughs>